Another section in the contour machining is the rest machining. Rest machining could speed up the machining of part and we are able to generate the toolpath only where the previous tool has left an allowance and we don't have the air cutting. Ok, let's create a standard toolpath for this contour. Here we have 12 mm radius and we use for this machining tool with radius more than 12 millimeters. Okay. Okay. We don't have tools from this range of diameters so okay okay we have the biggest tool with 25 millimeters of diameter 25 could be a bit small so let's add another tool to our library click this button and type in here thirty millimeters and mil okay flat end mill for flutes from carbide shoulder length okay diameter type in here 30 millimeters shoulder length 50 flute length 40 body length 70 and overall length 100 ok leave these parameters default click ok and click ok this tool is only for example ok contour select this contour first create toolpath without rest machining ok ok we have a toolpath with tool with radius 15 millimeters and we have 12 millimeters radius here so we know that we have an allowance in the corners ok let's create another toolpath for this contour select smaller tool flat with diameter for example 12 ok flat end mill with 12 millimeters diameter ok ok and create the toolpath fast without rest machining ok ok select the contour ok and we have another toolpath as you can see we have machining in the first operation here and in the second operation here and in the second operation we don't have a material here on this edge on this edge on this edge and on this edge this edges was machined in the previous operation but in the corners we still have a material and we want to machine only 
these places. So let's edit this operation. Select REST machining. Type in here previous tool diameter. It was 30 millimeters and corner radius 0. Click OK. And we have toolpaths only in the corners. OK. OK, the last two sections, wrap toolpath and tool orientation, apply to multi axis machining, and uh, we will discuss it later. OK. I unselect the rest machining section and let's go to the height tab. We know this tab from previous lesson, from face milling, and we can go to next tab, to the passes 